there was a lawyer in New York who represented the, the utility that, that owned Three Mile Island. And he got a hold of some money to do some public education uh, toward the idea that they didn't want something like that to ever happen again. And they invited uh, me and, uh, and for me to bring my wife along with me to go to this conference there in the general area where the Three Mile Island plant was. And while we, they also invited to that, uh, the mayor of the town, Three Mile Island, or maybe there was a different name for the little town where the plant was. And I got to spend time with him. Uh, the conference lasted for like three days and we had meetings and panel discussions and conversations. And as I got to know this fellow, he told me about what happened the day of the, uh, that the uh, reactor core melted. And he said the plant didn't explode like a nuclear bomb, but it did melt. And there was a lot of radioactivity that uh, flew out into the air. And he said that he uh, he got a phone call the morning this happened, and they said, yes, uh, there's been a problem, but we've contained it. Uh, it's all contained, don't worry. Uh, it's all under control. And he went out to get in his car and turned his car radio on. And they were saying uh, on the radio, there's steam escaping from the plant. Uh, there's something gone wrong there. It's there's steam. It's steam pouring out. Uh, what's happening? Uh, there's been a breach. They had lied to him. And one of the things I learned before that, when we were having hearings on our bill that became the rever referral, I got a hold of some of the documents, sort of like discovery in a lawsuit. Uh, got a hold of some of the documents from our, our nuclear plant, uh, Trojan, and in their uh, regulations, it stated, if you have a, a problem and there's a lease, don't tell the radio station, don't, don't tell anybody because it'll cause a panic and people will... Uh, wreck their cars trying to get away. So you've got to just keep things calm and tell people everything's okay. Uh, my God, here's, we're looking at, at steam coming out that's got raw, uh, deadly uh, radiation in it. And you're supposed to tell people, stay calm, stay calm, everything's okay. These were the, the documents that have been approved by the state of Oregon's government uh, for the protection or lack thereof for the people. Things like that, I've always been an avid supporter of government, but things like that uh, trouble me, that I know those things are around and about. So that's the rest of what I wanted to say about nuclear power. That poor fellow from that town where they were telling him everything's fine, we've got it contained, when indeed the steam was coming out. And you should see, if you're interested in this, a movie called Three Mile Island. It's a Netflix movie that I watched a year or so ago, and, and that's where I picked up the flat statement that there's never been a plant approved since 79 when, when Three Mile Island happened. Uh, there's a lot of other interesting stuff in there about the... Uh, accelerated cancer rate in the area there and uh, after that that uh, release.